Bubbles moving, meaning yes, the microphone. Sometimes after I reset my computer like I just did, uh, the game, not the game, OBS, All right. the recording software I use, Show them how it I arbitrarily decides, oh, your microphone? Yeah, we're not using your microphone anymore. It won't open. How is that now behind? Fuck you. No mercy. Wounds I won't heal. Cards in the flesh. Lick the pain. Hmm. Resetting might have been a good idea. So far, it's been every every single time I've hit the button, it's actually worked. That's amazing. I don't think I've had one fight in the game where that's happened. Might be the first. It's probably gonna go away by the time I get into like three fights, but You're not hurt, are you? No. no I'm fine. That felt like the game worked properly. Except for the initial part where uh, you know, I got him in the back, clearly. And it's decided, no, you didn't get him in the back. Fuck you, yes I did. Yeah, I didn't... You're I didn't strong. have to sit there and be like, Hey, the trigger's not fucking working. Okay, that time it took three times. Still, three's not too bad. I can move with three. That was one. One. No escape. better about aiming with this awkward movement combo I got going here. No I should just fucking avoid these lizards. They're way too dangerous. I was worried there. I was spamming it and it didn't go to the last second. Like, oh, it's gonna hit me, it's gonna kill me. Then it went off. That yep, didn't go off there. I refuse to fall here. Oh, it already has gone back to being very iffy. I guess that one battle was just a fluke. Too bad. I got excited for a second. Ooh, I figured out the key to making the game work. Nope, I figured it. That was behind. That was clearly his back. That was clearly his fucking ass. Wounds, 
So, game, respond. There we go. That was tougher than I would have liked. I agree. That didn't count as a back either. I did that pretty much to see if it would be a back attack. using this combo partly because the finishing move it just feels like you feel it some of the finishers they just don't feel impactful that one does Moving around also seems to fuck with the enemies a little bit. The AI is pretty dumb on both sides, so it makes sense that you're moving around to fuck with them. It does make it kind of hard to land hits sometimes, though. When they're moving, the combo is just pretty ineffective. You'll just swoop right past them. Was tougher. Passing through. All is home. Here is car. Not hit that. Like, my finger is not so fat that it's hitting both the X button and the right joystick at the same time. I do need to make sure that is my controller. I wonder if other people have that map just randomly popping up on them. Maybe my controller isn't fucked. Because in combat it doesn't seem to be randomly throwing in X attacks. It seems only be doing it when I'm hitting it. And again, the way I button mash, I probably wouldn't even notice. You focus on smashing the triggers because they don't fucking go off. Oops. Hey, finally made it into this room. Now I get jumped. Half expecting a lizard thing to be right here and run at me as soon as I walked in.
Yeah, I was kind of hoping for you to give me... reason not to save. We will need to be extremely rare. No, I can't die here. Stop it! Just I don't believe this. Didn't even let me stand up. Why can't I switch characters? Because everyone I'm switching to is already dead. Fully intended to run away from that fight as soon as I got into it. Didn't work out. Tried to hit the trigger to go demon mode and then run away. And trigger didn't go off. And didn't get a chance to run away before it killed me. Pretty sure as soon as that fight started that I was going to be dead. Possible, which kind of makes it pointless, right? I don't think we have a chance. Oh, right, that's why it didn't let me go berserk. You can't on a risky battle. I was... <sighs> Rules are not consistent. Alright, I was going back here anyways. The shortcut. Down to one life when you're in that mode. I don't know why it killed me.
Yet again, I did not hit that. I notice it seems to be happening when I'm doing right on the, or rather left, on the stick. Thought something I did back there might have changed that. I've hit all the things. Certain ones will take away from one side and put it on the other, but nothing's really told me it does that. it lift up from somewhere else. It would have helped if I was able to read the thing that it popped up on the first one. I suppose I could go back and watch my own video. Maybe I just missed something. Probably I just missed something. Colors are gonna change. I need to figure out what's doing what to that. Nice if it also showed me that thing. Oh, the bridge stays. Duh. Of course that's what it is. On the edge. You can't hit me on the edge, right? something into you. Fucker. I don't think we have a chance! Gaze upon my fiery mirrors! Kaleidos Red! I turned around at the last second before he could get a back attack on me. Just so I could do this. I did not hit that. down on the right stick just to make sure that's not also a map button it is not so I'm not sure how that's happening I didn't hit the X in that combat so it's not like my X button was stuck down and popped back up that's a, can't take it back out That isn't the answer.
have to activate all of them. water temples. I'm allergic to them. I'm sorry that water temples all have to be awful. I've changed from what I just did. Activate that one back there. I did not hit that yet again. That elevator down here is part of it. And getting through this is probably part of it. I think I'd have to get the jewel out of the pedestal on the other side and then bring it through that pathway. But when I hit the thing with the jewel in it, nothing happened except turning the switch back on. Water level or anything. think that did anything. Another one of those things on the other side. It could have took the gem out of the pillar back there and I just didn't notice.
If ever I'm missing, it's something stupid. This one's not shining, and now it is. Good. I'm stupid. I figured it out, yay. Problem was, I didn't see the fucking breakable wall. Cause I'm stupid. And blind. Blinded by my rage.
hello. Hop in right in front of me. Give that I did that shit. Get out of here. I'm busy. I feel the power coming from further inside. Hmm, how very intriguing. Well, there you are. Yes. That barrier again. Looks like we were right. Another Therian. Just as Velvet conjectured, each of the seven heads seems to assume a different form. <laughs> the sensation! It was here! Well, look at that. I guess your hunch panned out too, kiddo. This is just how I felt in Warren Forest. That must have been an Earth Pulse point back there too. Well, what are we going to do with this one? Can we get it to shrink like that bug of yours? I don't care whether it lives or dies. As long as we defeat it and take out one of Inominat's heads, that's all that matters. So what about that barrier? We can just walk right past it? Be very uncomfortable. Why can't I fucking theorize? Oh, why do I have two souls? Kill me. Me. Come on. There you go. People will love you this time. Try not to let it eat you. That'd be very uncomfortable. <laughs> Only fire attack, right? Yeah. Wait, 
Everyone's dead. What happened? I won't let you berserk! If it was every now and then, it'd be one thing, but it's every fucking fight that it just decides to stop working. If it was now and then, I think, oh, I'm doing something wrong. But it's constant. Letting me do the thing. because I would have been dead if I wasn't. Apparently you still get status effects while blocking. Didn't ever seem to be the case before, but okay. Wait, I'm not in berserk mode. 
Why am I not in berserk mode? Definitely hit the berserk button so I do the thing. Oh, the left bottles are gone, he's not even half dead. This does not look good. No, I can't die here. Wouldn't even let me do one attack. Die. Bring him in. I've got fire attacks. I already forget what the fuck he is. Oh, there is the eyes of that. Thank you. 
Try not to let it eat you. That'd be very uncomfortable. No mercy! Wounds I won't feel! Point of block. I mean, I get it's a reduction of damage, but holy shit, everything still one shots while blocking. Oh, I saw. It. Oh, they did get it. Fucker. Just take it and then do nothing. You fucking little asshole. Just kill us. Fucked. Literally just doing nothing. Most the fight. I don't get why they do that. Thank you. 
want I want them to focus on healing. I would like to tell them focus on healing, and if you don't have a heal to do at that exact moment, go ahead and start launching ranged attacks. Where's the option for that? Of course. Might as well give up on this one already. Hey, he went off in one. That'd be very uncomfortable. No mercy. Wounds I won't heal. Cause the flash. Lick the leg. One whip. No mercy. Wounds I won't heal. Cause the flash. Lick the leg. Get your head on your ears. The power. What? Ow! This is so random! And luckily I already decided I'm gonna run around and wait for someone to throw a heal at me. While I was running around, it just randomly swapped me. No, I can't. Like, why? Uh, here. You little shithead. I'll help you. you have full cool souls, too. Why did you even do that? I was out. I had to literally look down at my hand and make sure I'm nowhere near touching the D-pad. I'm not. Not how my hand naturally sits on a controller. Don't start throwing new weird shit at me. enough that the triggers go all wonky and the map randomly pops up. I don't need it to start swapping me random fucking characters. That one was on purpose. That one was not some weird random shit. It was deliberate. Now, I was going to say the not theorizing, that's not deliberate, but it finally did it. 20 hits later. Yeah. 
heal anyone. No. Of course. I can't die here. You fucking bitch! Where's the don't pick up random souls off the ground because I need them often? No, I can't. That's the. I'm down here. And they still picked it up. As soon as I hear that ding, I start spamming the button. I mean, unless I'm completely across the field like that. Why? I seriously thought it was gonna keep not letting me do it. I was gonna be so close. Still mildly pissed that it, you know, gave me that false little, hey, you're gonna die because whatever. Alright, and there we go. Like I said, when I hear the ding, I hit the button. Like, I was kind of expecting to get dead, and then I heard the ding, I'm like, oh, there's hope, I can theorize. Nope, nope, no, you cannot. Game arbitrarily decides when you can and can't. Oh, everyone's dead. Problem. I don't know how it happened, because no one no, near this guy I except me. I was blocking. But blocking doesn't matter. Try not to let it eat you. That'd be very uncomfortable. No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! I just ended it. At that point where they would have let the game kill me, so why want to let it kill me? Just use the item, why didn't it go off? I somewhat get weird input things not going off, but that I went through a menu to select, so why didn't that go off? That was very clearly inputted. Can't deny me that one. Uh, whoa, what the fuck? Why did it do that? Waiting for the status effect to go off so I could do this, and yes. it's like, oh, by the way, you're him now. Like, does this boss have a weird power that forces swaps? Is that a new mechanic? Also, when it swaps and forces you right on top of them, it's like, uh, hey, I wanted to be where I was. That's why I was there. I get that normally with the socks you're supposed to be doing like combos and stuff. Also, 
I have no idea what makes it sometimes not finish the combo and just go on for a long time like that. I wish I did, because I would consciously do that. That was not intentional. I mean, I'm glad it did that, and I wish it did it every time, but I don't get it. Sometimes it just lets you do an endless combo. But it usually it does that. Take care of that. Thanks, Tuts. Oh. And... Of course. Why am I not surprised that it did that to me yet again? Like, I... It's gotta be in the hundreds how many times it's done that. Okay, he died, that's why. Okay, no raging about why that item didn't go off. I get it, he died before he could. See? I'm reasonable. I'm not just raging to rage. Move that over so if it randomly decides to swap, it swaps him instead of me. At a point where swapping might be a good idea. Or not. Why are you not theorized? Why are you still not theorizing? Still not. Come on. Do the thing. Do the thing. Oh, the ineffective is the theorizing hit, because you can't steal his power for whatever reason. Let me go with another randomly long combo that I have no problem with, I just wish I could do it every time. No idea what I'm doing to make it do that. And I oh, didn't let me theorize him that time. No, you fuck! I did not res you so you could steal my shit. Did you just die? I'm in the middle of. Oh. Hit me and it shot behind me and hit him. Now to get the fuck out the way. I guess I'm running out. Surprise. I won't let me theorize. 
I really thought it just killed me there again while I'm trying to do the thing. So now it just hurt me. That was just stupid and kind of stood there and took it. That was bullshit. Come on, guys. You can predict what the enemy is going to do way better than me. You're the same fucking computer. That attack lasted for two therizination. Ther therization? I don't know. Big up ass word. Thanks. I don't know what a therian is. Is that an actual thing? It's been a while since I read the Bible. I don't remember therians in there. Remember Satan's heads having names. Come on. Come on. So close. Woo! Like one life bottle left. I don't think this Therian's getting any smaller. Because it's the kid, or that is the kid, and that one's the mother. One's the kid, one's the mother, I assume. I'm not letting you go this time. Kind of what they do. must refer to demons then feeding on demons I know what that's like dishes and new treasures <laughs> really get off on this sacrifice stuff, don't they? I can't believe it. That... that woman... She was trying to save her own daughter. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! I miss 
This annoying thing better not join my party. Dying, unable to save her daughter. All she could do was offer herself to feed her hungry child. No, this... this is my fault! So, should we bring her with us? No! No, absolutely Someone not, like no. Will only slow us down. That Therian isn't going anywhere! Oscar! What is the Abbey doing? Please tell me, I have to know! Eleanor! The less you know, the better. I must know! I killed her mother, and then the poor girl, she... Ah, so she must have devoured the demon. But don't let that trouble you. The demon was a necessary sacrifice to bring an end to this world's pain and suffering. That wasn't just some demon! She was a mother! She was all this girl had! How do you know that? You could have no all kinds of stuff mother. in that village. Friends, other family... Be you don't know her be. life. Those who possess strong wings must... What now? <gasps> You were saying? It's not nice to make a girl cry. <laughs> Mommy! Kamawana. It's now or never. Out of the way, Lafayette. Set. Wait! Have you no compassion? This <laughs> isn't up for discussion. I thought you just wanted to weaken it! You can sever the link! You don't have to kill her! Velvet! Oh, someone's had a change of heart. Apparently, a woman's tears truly do have frightening power. I'm just curious about something Grimoire said. I can always kill this one later. If we're taking her with us, we'd better grab her and go. No. No sense lingering in the enemy's territory. No. Hey, Kamawana. My name's Lafayette. Do you want to come with me and my Damn friends and it. get out of here? Where's my mommy? I'll be lonely without her. Put her out of my misery. You're not alone, sweetie. I promise. Even if she's far away, your mother will always be looking over you. How do you know? Because... That's what my mother does for me, too. Let's go, Kamawana. Okay. Drop her off at anywhere. Anywhere but with us. I already have to listen to that stupid Bienfu thing in the fucking annoying goody two shoes kid. I cannot stand that fucking voice. I want the crybaby little girl on top of that shit. Like I said before several times, Tales games always have a shitload of annoying characters. I was saying that this one's not so bad, but that thing, oh my god, that voice is grating. Quick move after the boss fight to make you run the gauntlet back to the save point.
Let's take her back to her village. They'll accept her. She doesn't look too demonic. Not good. The malevolence is getting stronger. My, my. The effects are already starting to show. the purity spell on this thing. It has the scratchy voice phase. Status effect food is active. What the fuck? Bullshit. Oh, not a life bottles. Good. Kill me while I'm Theranized, that's fine. Game doesn't fucking have any consistent mechanics. Why would it? It's not like it's the 50th of these fucking Tales games. They couldn't have figured it out by now. Come on! 
I just don't use two souls because I'm spamming it so hard it's probably cast it twice. They're respawning. Definitely got it before. These ones did not. A zero. Okay. Bizarre. Go away. I want to play with you. Plain sight, how did I miss it? Oh my guess. I can kill that thing. After I Good time, get life bottles, deal with my gear, story ahead a little. Hopefully the village is all like, oh, we still accept you and we'll take you. You don't have to run away with this pack of demons and annoy the shit out of them. Probably not what's gonna happen. No point was I thinking, we need another child in the party. Maybe a even more annoying one. Already bad enough we get the little Shota that all the adults are hitting on, which is fucking weird. Creepy fucking pedo shit. Oh good, they're all drugged up on malevolence, so she can stay here. They won't even notice her. Grim, what's up? Did you come to share something else you found in that book? Not quite. I'm afraid the malevolence has grown too dense for me to hole up at the inn reading. Malevolence? Say that like she's never heard of it. They literally just talked about it. 
the hell? What's that coming out of their bodies? Malevolence. They're all hitting their limits. Neat. Demon Blight! Ah, uh, shit. Can the merchants stay alive at least? Because I need to buy some shit. Even the in girl! Why is this happening? They're demons now. Their malevolence is spilling over. The malevolence? All of that energy spilling from their bodies? That's what causes the demon blight? And so you she can turn them back to really humans. Is? What demons are? Malevolence. The feed to Nomenot later on. Far. Track him down at all costs. We'll talk later. The exorcists are going to have their hands full with these demons. Let's get back to the ship while we can. Look, she's a tool for a Nomenot. So I can't stop to get life bottles so I can go back and fight the Kraken? Well, shit. Goes that plan. Can't just randomly pop things in and turn things into a dangerous encounter. And why will you not do that? Uh, I need to turn everyone's skills back on. Okay, what about how I turn them off for that fight? Inconsistencies. Lag up and not let me do that, and not lag, just not respond. Get away. 
rough one but by the end that super long fucking spree of killing was kind of fun dick move for that thing that just randomly appeared and turned it into a dangerous battle but I live so no harm no foul right Walking birds still aren't as annoying as the kid I just picked up. Couldn't afford to open this one before. I can't afford it now. Waves of malevolence sweeping over the people and turning them into monsters. Get the best version of whatever they're currently working on. About to shred everything else. really need to do some battles just to get equipment skill going. 
Quite a bit of stuff that I need to get done. A lot of people wearing shittier gear than they need to be. since I'm not actively using him, but still. Preemptive. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not the most efficient job, but whatever. I'm sure I remember to buy life bottles at the start of that. Motivated do I feel to actually search for it? Where's my mom? Come on, Anna. Your mother is still far away. Then I need to wait for her at home. Let's go back to Haria. Scary demons are running through the village. It's too dangerous there now. But I want to see my mom. Your mom would be sad if you got hurt by a demon. Come with us, and we'll keep you safe until she comes back. Okay, I'll go with you. I wouldn't want mom to be sad. This is just grating. Making me consider restarting the game to turn on Japanese voices, which actually you might be able to do that in here. Start of the game on that. Like it. Probably asked at the start of the game because you can't change it. That's a good one. That is a good one. Wait, that thing is considered weaker than that? 41, that's 45. Also, I'm like 24. Right? Yeah, 25 and 23. I really feel like I uh, probably should have done more leveling. I've been avoiding fights the whole game. It's starting to catch up to me. 
Oh, tell me this goes outside and that's where the thing I missed is. What do you know? Was this tavern open before? Is it impossible for me to get that chest before, or did I just not go in there and think of that? I remember if it was open before. Why's that locked? All right. You're going to tell me about the demon blight and malevolence. Are you seriously thinking of breaking the Moloch taboo? That depends. Moloch taboo? This is about more than just the demons. You could say it's the truth behind how this world really works. The knowledge can be devastating to humans, throwing into question everything they think they know. And so the Malachim agreed to withhold it from humans. For their own protection. Get rid of the humans and tell us you demons. You still want to know? It's not like I'm a human anymore. I can't keep lying to myself. I can't go on unless I know the truth. You asked for it. Recap as Asteria? <laughs> First of all, this thing, this illness you call Demon Blight, does not exist. Any human carries the potential of becoming a demon. All it takes is for the malevolence lurking in their heart to overflow. And what exactly is this malevolence? Impure emotions beyond what reason can suppress. Think of it as the sin buried in men's souls. So you knew. I'm a witch. So malevolence is the darkness in all our hearts. Make any sense to you guys? Any at all? When you put it like that, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> by nature, humans are incited by negative energy. It is easy to turn them towards impurity, creating malevolence. In fact, most people are constantly generating malevolence. It might even be possible that demons are people's true selves, and what little reason they possess is all that keeps them in human form. If the masses realize this, the realm would be thrown into utter chaos. That's why the Abbey propagates the lie of demon blight. So I presume. That can't be true! You know yourselves there weren't any demons before the opening! It used to be that humans couldn't see demons, or Malachim. Not unless they possessed a unique spiritual talent we call resonance. All your average human would see was someone turning extremely violent. Unable to explain what was happening, they'd just call those people possessed or feral. Then what made people see them all of a sudden? I don't know. My guess would be that something triggered greater resonance among all of humanity. And then, on the day of the advent, all humans gained the ability to perceive Malachim. And in the following days, the exorcist numbers swelled. This has to be Artorius's doing. But if there's no sickness... Why would an entire village turn into demons at the same time? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Humans produce malevolence, which Therians consume and transmit to a Nominat. But when we removed Kamawana from the Earth Pulse point... Clever boy! That's right. With no Therian to absorb their malevolence, the villagers could no longer contain it. So you're saying it's all my fault? Uh, 
don't talk. Hey, what's going on? You all look so sad. It's scaring me. On the other hand, at least now we know we can trust the contents of that ancient book. We tear the Therians away from their Earth Pulse points. Inominat's power will wane, and will prevent this awakening. But if we take away the Therians, then more and more humans will turn into demons. It's the only way to kill Artorius. Ooh, the knives come out. So even the truth won't stop you. Very well. Since each Therian looks different, we'll only find them by capturing the Earth Pulse points one by one. What separates humans and demons? Um... Uh... That's Eleanor. Ch cheer up, Eleanor. Your mommy's looking over you too, you know. Like a really bad Bobby Hill impression. Yeah, so she is. Thank you, Kamalana. Pamela Adlon with a really bad cold. Grimoire, I want you to tell me more about what you said earlier. About malevolence? I told you, the subject is taboo. I understand that human emotions create a poison called malevolence that turns people into demons. Is there no way to stop malevolence from being created? As long as humans remain human, no. Malevolence is born of emotion, you see. But your kind must have found a way around it. Malakim experience emotions too. But Malakim do not produce malevolence, unlike humans. That's a lie. I've watched a Malak turn into a demon. That only happens when we are exposed to too much external malevolence. True. The island was full of prisoners and demons. And Melchior hit that Moloch with something that turned it into a wyvern. Was it malevolence? To Molochim, malevolence is a powerful toxin. We seek those of purity to serve as vessels to protect us from it. It is not a perfect solution, however. If the vessel is corrupted, the Moloch is as well. That is correct. So if Eleanor turns into a demon, then Lafayette, that must be what Eisen meant when he said he'd hate to see Lafayette's vessel broken. A small crack in one's soul is often all it takes to break a person apart. So try not to pick on our squeaky clean exorcist too much, hmm? Thanks for the warning. random cutscene that popped up behind me. So I rescued this poacher who'd run away from one of those class 4 islands, right? She mentioned something about being hired by some chef to go hunt a rare wolf on the island. But she didn't see a single blasted critter on that island, let alone any rare wolf. Place was empty. Then why did she run away? Even though she never saw nothing, she kept hearing some beast howling round the island. Freaked her right out, I tell ya. When she got back to her boat, her food had been pilfered, and her ship was scratched up to hell. She got out of there as quick as she could, but her ship sunk soon as she hit open water. Hmm. Sounds like whatever's there is as smart and manipulative as it is vicious. Sounds like. Later I heard some talk about how several exorcists had gotten killed on that island. If you plan on going, you'd best be very cautious. That was worth jumping down. Thought that they'd have a jump point there for no reason. Sir, we just received a Sylph J from the boss of the Bloodwings. She has a job for us and wants us to meet her in Logris. How should we respond? Let's do it. Besides, 
We need to see if that demon in the villa was actually a Therian. Good point. And the Bloodwings might know something about the other Therians, too. We're heading for Logris. Prepare to set sail. Ready anytime! That's up my ability to go back to where I want to go. Also, of my ability to go to some easy training grounds. So, I lost my mother to a demon. Onward. Yet that girl's a Therian. I how long it is till I learn how I to don't jump know over what shit. I want anymore. Hey, that's pretty. You like to look at that thing, don't you? Yes. My mother... Someone very important to me gave me this. I treasure it a lot. Looking at it gives me strength. Do you want to see it? Yeah! Ah! What's wrong? My face! It's... it's scary! <laughs> I don't want to look like that! I don't want my mommy to hate me! Mommy! <laughs> mommy! When I was her age, that's just how I cried. I'd want you thrown overboard too. Come Alana, I want you to see this. That huge my owie! What happened? It's big and ugly, isn't it? There are scary things about my body, too. But do you think I'm scary, Kamalana? No, not at all. But are you all right? Does that hurt? Thanks, sweetie. I'm all right, I promise. What about me? Do you think I'm scary? You're such a sweetheart, Kamalana. Nobody could ever be scared of you. Not me. I mean, we did just walk not through a mother. village with no one not freaking Lobby the fuck said. out. You don't have to cry anymore. It'll be okay. I promise. Okay. We're leaving this that thing on the scar. boat, right? Was it from a demon? Yeah. They attacked my village when I was a girl. I was so hurt, I couldn't move. But my mother lured them away from me, so I could survive. What happened to her? The last thing she said to me was, Stay strong, and keep living. Oh. Come to the deck. Grimoire says she's learned something from the book. Hey, why is your face so red? It's nothing. Somehow, I doubt that. It's nothing, I, I swear. Do you all remember the second verse of that song Lafayette read earlier? Verbatim. Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. Right. That's what I've gathered you all here to discuss. And we think that passage means that Inominat and the Therians will be revived by a chosen one, right? Yes, but the shall be forever reborn part kept bothering me. I've reconsidered my analysis. Suppose that instead of someone being chosen by Inominat to create Therians, the song means that Inominat chooses who becomes Therians. <sighs> But so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. What do you think that could mean? That someone receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as a Therian. Like Kamoana. Which is to say that the Abbey figured out how to turn people into Therians, and then got right to work. That's... Are you really that surprised? Artorius has always been one to prioritize the many over the individual. As I well know. 
Another thing to consider is this wording about Therians being forever reborn. This could Kill mean one, that one Therian up. will be reborn again and again. Or it could mean that different Therians will be born to take their place. Meaning that even if you kill one, there are more waiting in line. They can't be wiped out. Looks like prioritizing the one over the many was the right call this time, eh, Velvet? I never said I wouldn't kill her, if it would prevent Inominat's reawakening. But Therians can't be killed. Not truly. Hmm. So, you just in gotta a kill nutshell, them all at the same if time. you kill one, another person who's receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as one. Right. But the song says that seven mouths feed the body. So there's only so many around. If you don't kill them, the next ones won't be born. Exactly. So we remove the seven Therians from their Earth Pulse points instead. But then, we also have to protect them so the Abbey doesn't steal them back. Or kill them. Sounds tricky. We've got to protect my bug, too. Yeah. You take real good care of that thing now. Got it? You bet I will! In that case, we should probably work on securing a proper hideout for ourselves. You got a secret base or anything, Aizen? It's every man's fantasy, but sadly, I don't. The bug we doesn't need a talk. hard to find spot. One where we can guarantee a steady supply of malevolence for the Therians. Hmm, somewhere devoid of people but full of malevolence. Real poser you got there. With the Abbey in control of the entire continent, finding a place like that will be easier said than done. Meanwhile, Inominat's reawakening draws ever closer. We'll have to keep collecting our Therians while we search for a hideout. For now, let's just get to Logris. Well, let's get to that save point, because I'm exhausted. Like, go to sleep exhausted, like, this game is exhausting. Actually, I could probably use a nap, too, but... Uh, oof. Hey, old man! Give me all the water and food you got! Wait your turn, moron! I was drifting out at sea for three days! Almost died out there! Wee here, poor you! You probably deserved it! Say that again, wise ass! I dare ya! Yeah. Oh, shut up, both of ya! No one's getting anything until you pay me what you owe first! Uh, are they gonna be okay? Don't pay them any mind. Sailors are just a short-tempered bunch, that's all. Huh? The hell are you doing? What's going on? They've jacked up the price to dock our ship here. Oh yeah? Some real balls you've got there, buddy. If you lot want to more here, that's the price you're gonna pay. Look, pirates are a liability to begin with, but calling your crew infamous these days would be putting it lightly. The more wanted you are, the more it's gonna cost to hide you. Capiche? <sighs> Hard to argue there. Benwick, just pay the man what he wants. <sighs> yes, sir. You're such pushovers. You and the captain both. I knew I could count on you to come through, Eisen. Pleasure doing business with you. Yep, then get right it out, I guess. Looks like I'm causing you trouble. It comes with the job. Don't sweat it. Some sailors just have longer tempers than others. <laughs> Noted.
Break time potentially done for the day. Short one. Short day, that is, not a short video. Wow, or something video. But considering how much time I've been playing today, and this is the longest one, yeah. What, maybe four hours today? I think I'm good.